guys, welcome to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. Today I'm just going to take you on a little journey around Cha Am. I have another video that I'm going to upload before that, it was uh, another trip I've done to Kanchanaburi. Just a couple of days to get away and do some stuff, so I'll probably edit that tonight and get that up on the, uh, tonight or tomorrow. That might take a bit of editing. I was drinking, and uh, there may be some stuff I have to edit out of that one. So yeah. Uh, so this morning I'm gonna throw the uh, camera on my chest and go for a slow drive into Cha Am, go and have some breakfast and then I'm going to walk around Cha Am a bit and show you a little bit more of Cha Am and maybe introduce you to a few characters in Cha Am, a few people that I know. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Bye for now. Okay, so this is uh, Long Beach Road in Cha Am. This is another one of the entertainment areas but at the moment it's uh, pretty much shut down. A lot of the bars are shut, you can see these bars here, there's uh, massage shops, there's bars, um, I believe it's a uh, pretty good party area, a lot of the Scandinavian people come this end of town, uh, so yeah there's bars, bars, karaoke, massage, uh, everything's here, and um, a few restaurants, there's a real estate there, but apparently this uh, really jives when it's uh, full of tourists but unfortunately a lot of places closing down for good a lot of places closing temporarily uh, there's a few hotels around this area this is the north end of Cha Am Beach heading up the Gulf of Thailand uh, this is where I come for my brunch this is uh, which I've had now by the way uh, Tony and May's place, it's called Cha Am Lodge and Steakhouse. Pretty nice. Okay, so I'm gonna get on the bike now and we'll go and have another bit of a look around some other places in Cha Am, okay? So you can uh, rent a horse or get your kid to have a horse ride here along the beach in Cha Am. It must be so hot for them here, but you know, these guys look after their horses so much. It's all registered, everything's uh, above board, don't know how much it costs, he's a pretty little horse this one. So let's have a look at Cha Am Beach, pretty hazy today, it's uh, the burn off season in Thailand, everyone's burning off the paddies up north, all the smoke comes down here, fills the gulf, it's just unbelievable, have a look at it out there, just phenomenal the amount of haze. You guys have seen this before, but I'm just doing a, a walk around Cha Am. I'm going to take in some of the just everyday life in Cha Am. Uh, yeah, I've been away to Kanchanaburi. As I said earlier, I'm uh, going to edit that video and uh, I might have to cut some out because there was, uh, you know, a few drinks had and uh, some of it may need to be edited out of the movie. Yeah, so. Okay, that's the north end of Cha Am Beach up there. That's where I just came from. You can rent jet skis and you know, the banana boat things and all that stuff that you have in, in tourist areas by the seaside, by the beach. The ocean's looking uh, fairly clean today, but as you can see, the smoke haze is just terrible. The pollution is terrible. I think it's 2.5 milligrams per thousand or whatever it's in Bangkok they're saying it's very unhealthy levels there's a big crab the big crab yep and there you have the south end of Cha Am Beach which you can see is lined up with all the uh, uh, restaurant type things on the beach where you rent the table and deck chairs and sit around with your family and drink beer and have picnic have food you can see that uh, the beach gets fairly eroded. They're putting in sandbags and all sorts of stuff there. Right down the other end, we'll go and have a look. They're building a seawall right along the edge of the beach uh, to uh, protect and stop the erosion. So that's Cha Am Beach. It's 
side straight off the main road to Chatham. It's uh, renowned for all the uh, antiques, antique clocks in particular. Food's pretty good, Western and Thai food, very reasonably priced. As you can see, there's uh, these antique clocks everywhere and they have uh, really nice lead light lighting around the place, antique lampshades. More antique clocks. Some amazing clocks here. Some amazing clocks. There's a barometer and a thermometer. Some of these are incredible. He did have them all up for sale at one stage. He might have stopped doing that now. Some beautiful antique stuff. Rather ornate this one up here on the wall. Don't know what the sound's like, but uh, I'll overdub it at home later on. This is a good place. It's a good restaurant. It's really nice. You can see more clocks. Antique telephones. And desks and tables. Julie, say hello. El, El. So what <laughs> <laughs> Nice cabinet. Beautiful antique clocks. Just beautiful. Look at that. Old gramophone. Probably working. Most of the stuff's in good nick here. Beautiful antique cabinet. Some more clocks. The guy's got a thing about clocks. A globe. A globe that's been turned into a uh, little garden. Some stage or other it would have been uh, for keeping your writing tools in and your mapping tools in I guess. I'm not sure but it's a really nice table. Yeah, some nice stands. Hand carved. Some beautiful old statues. And the clocks, the clocks are amazing. And this guy here, Mr. Smiley. Don't know where he's from, what he is. It's Laurel and Hardy, that's what it is. Laurel and Hardy. Opens up out under the street. As you sit up there in the corner, that's my little spot up there in the garden area, get the breeze. So yeah, that's a Roy restaurant. Okay, so gonna head a bit further down the road here and show you the uh, the walking street, the bar street, which is called Bus Station. It's a very nice relaxing bar and they do good uh, food as well. Everyone comes here to watch the cricket and the fights and the footy. It's a good spot. Watch the uh, state of origin here. Watch the grand final here. So what up? So let's have a look. This is right on the corner of what they call bus station, which is uh, Two roads and it's the main bar area of Cha um, Mostly everything's closed down at the moment. It's very quiet. Oh, the bars are open now. By the look of it, they must have allowed them to open. This is uh, the Red Lion. This is uh, Ian and Mint own this place. Used to come here. I've, I've stopped drinking. I'm not drinking much, so I don't go to the bars much. So what do you cup? Ian Mint in I? Ian up there. Ah. Oh, don't get to talk to Ian and Mint, but that's Ian and Mint there. This is their bar. Got the big 12 burner barbecue there. They put on a bit of a do every now and again. 
So this is the red line bar. So, uh, of course, you can imagine this bar street, it's very quiet at the moment. There's absolutely no tourists and all these places thrive on tourism. So as you can see, like it's as dead as a doornail. I'm the only person walking down the street. So, yeah. And there's accommodation here too. All these places here do accommodation. Some for the girls that work in the bars and some for tourists, some full time. Yeah, so, and this is a motorbike rental place. So there's no shortage of this sort of stuff around Cha'am where you can rent a bike and, you know, do tours. The bus station is around the other side. They call it the bus station because the bus station is here where you get the tickets and mix and uh, meet up with the bus that goes to, uh, you know, Bangkok, Kanchanaburi, Pechaburi, you know, Ho Hin. So you can get the bus ticket over here. And uh, that's why they call it bus station. And that's the walking street of uh, Cha Am. As you can see, it's extremely quiet. Not a soul around. So what do you cup? Cut, yeah? Make video, YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. What the name your new bar? Blue Anchor. Blue Anchor. Yeah. You buy this one too, yes. yeah? You bar. Yeah. Blue okay. Anchor. Blue Anchor Cha Am. I don't know what it's like. It's under new management. This wonderful lady has bought the bar and yeah. uh, has taken over the bar. So Hello. you're in Cha Am. In bus station. It's the third bar and uh, come and say hello and have a drink okay right next to the bus station this is the bus station where you buy your tickets and they've got the bus timetable there and you can get the bus to Hua Hin, Cranberry, Bangkok, Kanchanaburi how are you mate? Hey, how you doing? Good. I'll have a chat with you in a second. This is a good bar. I'm Terry from Canada. Terry from Canada. This is his bar. What's the name of the bar, Terry? This is Cha Cha Bar. Cha Cha Bar. And he puts on some really good dudes here and some good food. So what do you carb? Good four bars down the road there, but they're all closed up. It's extremely quiet. Extremely quiet. So yeah. Okay, so gonna head off somewhere else. Back road. You can just see here, you know, the lack of funds, the lack of tourism and stuff like that in the last year. A lot of things have come to a halt. This one was like this when I arrived here though a year ago, so and uh, shortly after COVID happened, so yeah, not much going on here, it's like a ghost village, I think there's a few uh, homeless people probably living underneath there, I'm not 100% sure, dogs are bad here at night time, it's like something out of the walking dead, yeah, so there's a bit of this here, the projects that have come to a halt, there's the sale signs there and stuff like that, I think they were building condo type things or housing complex like where I live and uh, ran out of money, couldn't sell them or whatever and uh, yeah, so they ended up like this. Yeah, so it almost takes up a whole street as you can see. And then further down the road here is uh, Lumpini, where I used to live when I first came down to Cha Am. I'll show you that in a minute. put a link on the top of the video to that you can have a look at that and see what that's like okay so that's a water tower this is another hotel condo uh, unit there so I'll go back down to the beach now anyway okay all up and down this beach road you've got those seafood places where you can buy your fresh seafood I've shown you this stuff before crayfish Crabs, blue swimmers, yummy yummy, shellfish, 
They usually do a big business on the weekends when the local tourists come from uh, Bangkok and other places, other provinces. So you can rent the um, you can rent the table and chairs out here with your family and have the seafood cooked and brought to you with drinks and stuff like that. Here you can see the new um, the new wall that they've built all the way down the south end down here to stop the erosion. That's uh, the south end of Cha Am. There's some big resorts and hotels you can see through the haze there. The ocean's looking pretty good today. I think I'll go for a swim this afternoon. And you can see this heads all the way up there. I don't know if they're going to keep it going the whole length of the beach. I hope they do. It's high tide. At low tide you can walk out about another 50 metres, 60 metres here. So yeah, South Chatham Beach. The Gulf of Thailand. South Chatham. This is the uh, beach shack. Good beard, owned by an Aussie guy. Don't think he's here at the moment, his wife's here. Quite a pleasant atmosphere. And uh, they've got a kitchen here now and they do really good food. Exceptional hamburgers. I've had a couple of them already. Recommended. So I did carp. The bar, they've got everything you want here. They do draft beer as well. Bottle beer. Bars are allowed to be open now. Do the sports. YouTube. Got everything here. It's a nice, pleasant place. Has a breeze. Got the kitchen going on out here. Sawadee Kaab. Sawadee Mui. Tamalai. Pork chops. Pork chops. Someone's having pork chops. Yeah, so the beach shack. Very nice little place. So that's the south end of Cha Arm. There's more stuff down there, but the, uh, down the other end's really uh, high range hotels and stuff like that that I think are pretty much closed at the moment. So yeah, south Cha Yummy. I'm sure you'd like that. This guy must get tired. My guy, yeah? My guy? <laughs> so he's gonna sit there and cook that over the hot coals. The hand rotisserie until it's done.